maybe something about the color yellow that also implies a certain level of noise. Exact opposite of one, what one would expect. Yeah. Especially being Simon, I would think that his car would be significantly louder. Well, he's it's his first build. It's his, it's his, it's a new build. So okay. he hasn't had time to, to make it louder. Yeah, to make it louder. He's probably <laughs> running on all the stock stuff. You're going it wrong. Oh, here comes another vehicle. Oh, it's the it's the legacy. Oh, good little flick there. Nice, nice tight line for the old legacy. Oh, we have another vehicle coming. Oh, Kevin coming in a little hot. Local boy. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so folks are uh, shifting around, trying to get get some uh, get some good spectating spots. Expect to have some really good photos from this event. I mean, we've got lots of good people all taking photos, and uh, I got about. Uh, how many were on your left? Six, seven, registered media people. I think. And we got we got we got Ted out here who's we taking had, photos too, uh, and uh, he'll share those. I'm sure. So we'll have some good stuff on. Uh, who's who, who's uh, who do we got across the way? We've got uh, Jesse in the orange. Jesse in the orange taking HD video. And uh, uh, is that Jonathan? Jonathan. In the yellow. Oh, and is that uh, Chris? And who's, uh, you can't see him on the stream, but another uh, yellow vest on the other side. I think that, is that uh, Mr. Megan? Uh, yes, Chris yeah, Megan. He had just come off to go on the side for a golf mistake. Like, less than one second. Here comes the Peugeot. Missing a chunk of the front bumper, so they've had an issue earlier. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for uh, losing the video. Don't don't know what happened. It looked perfectly fine on this side. Well, so we just, just we mean, stopped it and restarted. So if uh, it comes up again, please let us know, and we'll we'll try to kick it as fast as we can. Yeah, because the uh, the chat seems to stay live even when the, the screen the, the, goes down. Yes. So and if, the, if it freezes, let us know. And the, and the chat is delayed by by a, a few minutes. Yeah, Brad. Comes another car. All right, see you. It's, Brent, it's Brendan in the Evo. Woo! Testing out the new handbrake. <laughs> kissing, kissing the uh, the berm. I know that uh, he just installed a new hydraulic handbrake. Oh, did he? He did. Oh, hopefully, they got to use it there. Yeah, I would just of, of all corners. They're actually. Um, Very few that are beneficial on this rally. Yeah, this rally does not have a lot of hairpins. Uh, it, it's mostly mostly fours. Um, let's see, actual hairpins. Um, 
We've got this one. We have a few. We have a few. We have a few uh, right twos and left twos that are. That are yeah. This, I think. But this it's is, too soupy usually. Um, I'm thinking <laughs> stages. Sex and Spawn. Going through that in my mind. I'm Campbell Lake. Through. Finish at Campbell Lake. Campbell Lake. Going through that in my mind. But that's um, usually there's there's, there's usually a, triple, a double caution there with the, right. with the road grading. Um, so Campbell Lake has some right angle turns. It has nothing that's more acute than a 90. Uh, Hunter's Pond is barely flowing. It's only the last turn so, off I mean, the goat trail. Be. So there's the, one. The, the, hair, the hairpin are at the very, very that's end. That's more than 90. Um, on uh, Sexton's Pond, there's, there's, a, there's a couple 90s in there. Uh, at the intersection, there's one. And then there's one kind of heading up a gate. There's two. But if you... If you truly set up your car to go sideways like you would a normal one, you might actually flip it over because it's so soupy. No one's ever flipped it. But They've uh, put it up on the side, certainly. They, that has happened up Otis. on the side a couple times. Uh, but the most likely thing is you just get stuck in the middle of a corner. That's sort of ridiculous. You're stuck in the middle of the road. That happens. Uh, it happened to two two-wheel drive guys this morning. Ah. Yes. Uh, one of them was more on the ball than the other. Here's Amanda and uh, Derek from Noble Star. Drove all the way down here from Michigan. <laughs> now, give me a minute. So, this stage. Oh, another car! Ah, sorry. Ah. Alan Power. So this stage, we're right at the end. We're about five and a half, six miles in, and the, the hills already pa is earlier. Yeah, the Hamburger Hill is earlier. That's when I, where the two-wheel drive guys was get stuck. But most of this runs sort of up and along a, an actual ridge, a, a crest, and you, there are some parts of it where you can see pretty far on both sides. So. Fair amount of elevation change on the on the first first uh, section coming into this. Real pretty. Not that these guys are taking uh, the time. I've never to looked. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes. So we're gonna we're, now we're getting down to some of the two wheel drive guys who are a little, who are unfortunately a little slower, a little underpowered, and they're gonna more likely get hung up on the hill. Well, I mean the sand. We, so there's a hill here called Hamburger Hill because uh, we have had people fight up it. Uh, and lose that battle. Yes. And uh, it's easy to get through. You just never lift. You never, never doubt lift. yourself. Never doubt yourself and never lift all the way into it. And it'll work. But we sometimes have new guys that lift. So that's uh, Randy Deaton. And Rex Deffenbaugh. No, it's Randy and his brother. Oh, really? Yes. They haven't updated their side. Uh, no, they're. It says it says, it says on the, both both uh, Deaton's on the side. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, those guys are local North Carolina guys, mm -hmm. and they have been road racers for a long time. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, essentially, they saw a rally. They think, oh, that looks kind of good. They came to their first rally last year, and they're like, this is amazing. I'm never going road racing again. A thousand corners once, not ten corners a hundred times. Yes, yes, and much celebration was had at the after party and discussion of how uh, they thought they had, you know, missed out by spending so many years going road racing. You're taking a knee. Oh, 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 don't lift. There's a rather unique sound with the Ford Focus on a rev limiter. Yeah. They all sound exactly the same. So do we anticipate any issues with, with, with the uh, the early darkness? Because there, I see periodic blue patches, but not many. So I think it's going to be dark early, and we're a little behind. So we're going to let the bikes go into the night? 
Most of them have big giant lights on them. Uh, the bikes can certainly go in the night. Uh, that's, that's, that's certainly allowed. Um, the, way, the way the rule works is if they don't have all of their nighttime safety gear, which is some auxiliary lights on it's their flasher person. On, flasher on their back, right? Yeah. Then they have to transit the stage. Okay. So they all still do it. Oh, the Mighty Max. Carl Lynn piloting. Carl Lynn piloting, Normal not navigating. co-piloting. I can tell you, from personal experience, oh. that truck does not have a quick steering rack. Whoa! <laughs> Excellent. So how long did you drive the Mighty Max? Uh, three years, I think. And how many oh, times have you stuffed it? Miles on this stage. This is like eight miles. This is yeah, seven, seven or eight miles on this stage. <laughs> so, with the with the last info I had um, for schedule. Okay. The bikes will be starting the last stage at 4.02, if everything stays on track. Okay. So, uh, uh, I think the twilight is like at 5, 5, 25 something like that. something. So we should be able to get them all through. Yep. Yeah, so the bikes will all run uh, okay. in the daylight, with at least with the latest data that we have. Okay. We'll see, we'll see when they start, uh, we'll get an update once they start uh, stage 5. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay with you. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So how many more vehicles do we have after the Mighty Max? Is the Mighty Max the last one at this point? Let's see, where can I find that? I'm cold. <laughs> hey, you guys heading back now? Oh. Alright, we'll walk towards the end of the road. I'm not a fan of cold weather. Alright, see it. I don't like it. Here's another vehicle. I'm not quite sure what it is. <laughs> yeah. It might be an angry Ford Ranger pickup. No. It's another Subaru. <laughs> Hyperfest was his first actual rally full event. Mm -hmm. And I believe he did extremely well. Yeah, I see. Do I remember? I don't remember. We'll go in your memory. Yeah. I think he did really well. I'm going to say he won it. <laughs> oh, that's fighting words right there. Well, he beat you. <laughs> In your dreams. Hyperfest? Oh, Hyperfest, absolutely, but not West Virginia. Oh, well, I said Hyperfest. He beat you. Well, he did, actually, because I broke a car that wasn't mine. I just want hugs, Dave. I just want hugs. Got some good footage. Trying. We're doing a little live stream. Yeah, yeah, good. Cool. So can I join last stage? I don't. But, 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 but. This is not for me to answer. Can he join the last stage? <laughs> oh no, I am not his mother. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. I'll scrape him up no, off but, the ground and put But him you've back been carrying him around all morning. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Um, yeah, I'll ask you this. He's, he's, he's gonna stand. On the bike, he's got to stand on this leg to throw the other one over. How, how likely do you think that is? It's an XR250. I'm not going to get that fast on it. <laughs> I don't think this is enough. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty happy spectating. I just want to get there before the first bikes get through to the next station. Well, great. If you go and you could actually take the bike off the truck and see if you can actually function. <laughs> no, I'm not cool with sitting it out. No, I'm just really <laughs> okay, so you're just saying that just to make everybody feel sorry for you. So I think we still have a few more cars hiding out here on the stage. So the next one will be. I think we just need to. Uh, to five. We just need to wait for the combo, the uh, the sweep vehicles to come through. Have you seen them at, uh, just to be sure. Uh, headquarters double S. Unfortunately, my my radio is not working, so I can't actually give you any information. That's a, that's a nice one as to whether or not uh, there are any problems on stage. We don't really have anything else to do. Uh, they were just getting service when we came here. Thanks for putting it on, Anders. <laughs> Be careful on your way from here to your car. So we're able to find the list. <laughs> the list of what? Vehicles. Oh, sure. We're trying to figure out uh, the photographers look a little antsy over there, and uh, can't tell if that's on stage. So this is at least based on the last, who, who have we had come through? Uh, we had Kevin Allen. Yes. We had Carlos. Yes. We had Brendan. Yes. Did we have Amanda? Yes. Uh, and we had Brian McNamara. He was the one that was here. Yes. We had all the way down to Carl Lynn. Yes. And Lance. So Lance, but Lance was re had, had some issues apparently. Um, Lance was the last one to run on stage two finish. Okay. So he could be the last vehicle. Okay. Did we see Bryn Walters in 89? Ah! Here's the special treat. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha! The buggy. So that is officially the last vehicle, folks. Uh, we're going we're gonna to tune out and uh, we're going to try to run to another spot and maybe we'll get some interviews so you folks can follow along online. Uh, this is Sand Trap Hairpin uh, tuning out. We'll hopefully be back on the air in just a little bit. Thanks, folks.